In the most recent reaction video I've done to divorce court, Judge Lynn has brought up some serious issues that I believe are worth discussing. I believe that being open due to social media evolution had been taken a little bit too far these days, and it destroys relationships, to be honest. And uh, for example, look how far this man go uh, has gone in order to complain about his wife. Let's see. You said when I was working at the plant, I would talk to my co-workers about everything, including sex and relationship. When I told Terry about our conversation, she went ballistic. Why would you think she would do anything other than go ballistic when she finds out that you're talking about her personal sexual business with people at the plant? I, I, I mean, I'm open. I'm like, I didn't oh, know oh. when I'm, I'm we talking about issues and I'm like, okay, you know, man, my wife the truth. <laughs> Problem is, it doesn't end here, of course. When I thought he couldn't even uh, be grosser, he proved what a manly man he was. I was like, you know, I thought she was a call girl. Star. But, uh, I know. He said, I believe my okay. wife was a porn Listen, star. Me Allow me to strangle this man. How can someone be this disrespectful? Even if that person hurt you, even if your partner has done things horrible to you. If even like that, you don't you don't as a man as a woman you don't have the right to go to other people and explaining how big his junk is or how big her boobs are or anything like that it's gross and it speaks to your lack of character your lack of privacy your lack of anything i mean how uh, it, it it's as if you give a free pass to anyone uh to that person to that partner you have what, what would you have done in this situation? Would, would, would you leave this man or would you stay with him? Tell me in the comments down below. Let me give it to you this way. Mr. Mm. Carr, you are self-involved and unaware. You're a very uh, gregarious and, 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 and interesting individual, but you think, you think you're the king of something. You think that you are the man and everything should be your way. She should fix herself, do what you need to do. She shouldn't say anything that you don't want her to say, that you are the final word, that she is not to be heard. This is why you have the most unhappy woman in the world. You are not ready to be married. You don't know how to do anything for anybody other than yourself. You don't have enough sense to know not to tell people what kind of thing she does in bed. How disrespectful is that? Biggest problem on the wall, you know? is he doesn't even realize he's, he's in the wrong. It's one to think to seek advice about some personal issues, which I recommend, and seek advice to counselors, seek advice to your friends, to your family, but don't make public the way your man or woman behaves in bed. I mean, it's, it, it's gross, and Josh Lynn, as usual, keeps it real. It fills your ego to talk about what a freaky deek she's in bed or whatever that is. You, you think you're all that in a bag of chips, and you're not. You're very, very flawed, and you're very inconsiderate, and you're very unkind, and you're very hurtful. And I'm sure you could be better, but I don't think you think you ought to be better because you're a dude, and it's your house. <laughs> The definition of manhood is not simply how much money you make or who's or how many rules you make is can I make the people in my life feel happy, safe and secure. And on that you have failed grossly.